Why play Lulu support? Well, she's incredibly strong early, she brings an insane amount of utility, her cooldowns late game are very short, and she has great synergy with almost all carries. However, she's very squishy and can run into mana problems early game. Lulu's passive is that she has a fairy with her called Pix. When Lulu basic attacks, Pix also attacks that target. Pix's attacks home onto the target but can be blocked by other units. This makes Lulu's basic attacks hit like a truck as long as the Pix damage isn't blocked. Lulu's Q is a straight line skill shot which comes out of both her and Pix. This deals damage and slows, and if the target is hit by both bolts they only take 25% damage from the second bolt. If Pix is attached to a different target the Q will still come out of Pix. Lulu's W can be used on an ally or enemy. If used on an ally Lulu gives them a good chunk of attack speed and movement speed. If used on an enemy Lulu polymorphs them into a bunny making them unable to do much apart from move. Lulu's E can also be used on an ally or enemy. If used on an ally Pix jumps to them shielding them. Pix then stays with that champion giving them your passive and making your Q come out from her instead. When used on an enemy Pix will stay on that champion dealing damage and revealing them for 6 seconds. Lulu's ultimate enlarges her ally, knocking up all nearby enemies into the air. For 7 seconds, this also grants bonus maximum health and slows nearby enemies. Lulu's basic combo in lane is just to auto attack into EQ for a chunk of damage. Lulu can do this combo incredibly quickly and can even use polymorph to stop any response. For masteries go for this, it's everything Lulu wants. For builders, start Spell Thief Pots before getting tier 2 boots and a battle song. Following this, a Putrefy is always a great pickup, and then for your final 2 items, get any of these as needed. For skill orders, start E, then Q, then W, before maxing E, then W, then Q, taking ult whenever you can. For summoners, take Flash and Heal. If your carry's taking Heal though, just take Exhaust or Ignite. From the early game, you want to be playing aggressively. Lulu's passive, combined with her EQ combo, means that she can throw out a ton of early game damage, and be able to outtrade most opponents. Every time your opponent goes to farm, this auto EQ combo will absolutely chunk them. And then after doing this a couple of times, your W and passive damage allows you to chase them down looking for kills. If they have a melee support, zone them hard and hurt them every time they go to proc their support item. The great thing about Lulu's versatility however, is that if you're against a hyper aggressive kill lane, you can simply swap to using your Q and W to disengage and E to shield your carry rather than damage. This allows Lulu to thrive in any lane she's found herself in. Also, with Lulu's speed ups and quick burst damage, look to roam mid where possible. You have a huge potential to make plays. Entering the mid game, your entire kit is just a huge buff to another champion's kit, so you want to be using all your spells on your carry. This doesn't have to be your ADC and can easily be a fed top, middle jungle instead. But going through what Lulu can provide is a huge attack speed and movement speed steroid, shields, more damage with your passive, a slow with your Q, and a huge knock up, health, and a slow. It's just so many buffs to put into a single champion that it just makes them an absolute juggernaut. Make sure to use this advantage to force fights and take objectives. Entering late game team fights, your job is to protect your carry. Make sure to shield and ultimate them if needed. However, consider using your W to polymorph your opposing team's strongest carry or use it to peel something off your carry. Your cooldowns at this point in the game are incredibly short so make sure to spam your Qs at anything coming towards you or your carry and spam everything else onto them to make sure they're safe. Make sure to keep yourself safe on the backline, making it incredibly difficult to get to you or your carry.